fine. I, I didn't mean to bother you, but I just couldn't help but notice how beautiful you are. That's sweet. Thank you. Do you mind if I take a seat? Sure. Sit down. So what's your name? Armella. What's your name? Ben. Oh. Why are you single? You seem like a pretty nice guy. I've had my share of bad relationships. Let's just say uh, I haven't found the one. But I should be asking you that question. As beautiful as you are, I'm surprised someone hasn't made you your wife. Well, I didn't say I was single, did I? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I... Just kidding. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> I should have saw your face. Okay, you, you got me there. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm, I'm single because I haven't met a man who can show me the attention I need. I think I can change that. Oh, really? Sure, we'll see about that. How about I take you on a date? Okay, well, we can talk about that later. But right now, I have to actually go back to work. So. Where do you yeah. work at? Uh, RFG. So how, so how will we stay in touch? Should we exchange numbers? You know, if you have been paying attention to me, you know exactly where to find me. Guess I'll see you tomorrow, same time? Bye, Ben. It was nice meeting you, okay? Have a good day. It's nice meeting you, too. You didn't get the number. You didn't find out much of anything about her. So you decide to show up today in the park, hoping that she's there. But what you've done, you've let love walk out of your life. Now you're probably going to never see that woman again. And that could have been your soulmate. These are things that you don't let happen, people. You don't do like this brother did, let love walk out of your life. Now he's going to be regretting that for a long, long time. When you've fallen in love, you got something that a lot of people don't get. That falling in love syndrome. Now you have to sit there and wonder what could have happened if I would have did things different. What actually would have happened? Now you have to walk away in shame. Because you let the love of your life walk out of it. So what do you do? You come back for one more day hoping she's there. But she's not. You've letting her get away. And you've been there all day long with those red roses. But sometimes you're hit with something so hard when you've fallen in love. That falling in love syndrome can eat you alive. I did my best, but I guess my best. After all the things you've done for her, she runs back to the next man. The man that treated her like crap. And you've let there with your heart in your hand hurt. And your heart would never be the same. That red rose that blossoms in your heart. You've given her that red rose. You've fallen. And since you've fallen, there's nothing you can do. You're in love. You got the Jones now. The love Jones. So now you're in that predicament to where you can't get out of it. Stella knows he's in love. So she has to go out there. So that guy can shut his mouth. Stella! Wow. When you fallen, you would do anything to win her heart. That red rose, it blossoms inside you. It makes you do things that normally you wouldn't do. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me. 
And I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. You know, if you have been paying attention to me, you know exactly where to find me. Where you work at? Uh, RFP. Now he just remembered. God gave him that thought in his mind. Now he remembers where she is. And he's gotten a second chance at love. Our mother. My God, you found me. It took about three days that you actually found me. I know, I feel stupid. It, it took me some time to remember where you were at. Are those for me? Yes. Oh. Not all of us get a second chance at love, but that brother did, and now he can smell the roses. He can see the sunset. Now he sees where his love is going to go. He's fallen, and he's fallen for the right one. At least you hope it's the right one. Love is a particular thing. Sometimes it can make you and sometimes it can break you. But we're always going to take that gamble for love. And we're always going to burn the midnight oil. That's just the way our lives are. That's what's inside of all of us. This is 8 Dog 8. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.